Leo? Leo! 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 Leo Otterman! Hey, you remember me? I'm, I'm, I'm Adrian Monk. Of course I remember. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I found your Picasso and I still have not been paid. I told you, I need a little more time. Yeah, Leo, and I'm, and I'm telling you that that is not good enough. Sir, okay, okay, look, Leo, Sharona quit again and and I, I went to see Kelly Street because I thought she was an address, but she's, she's not an address. She's, she's, she's a woman. I've been there before three times. Forget that. Just forget all that. Sharona was not there. I can't pay her. See, so, and, I, and I cannot do this without her. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, okay, Leo. I'm sure it's all very fascinating. No. Call my office and we'll work something out. No, Leo. Leo, Jeffrey. wait, Leo, wait a second. All right, look, Jeffrey. Look, Leo, hey. Okay, look. Leo, I'm not moving. You think I'm bluffing? You're, you're gonna have to run me down. Or back up, one or the other. Adrian! Adrian! Oh. oh my God, I've been looking all over for you. Are you okay? Yeah, that was Leo Otterman. I tried to stop him. We got away. I, I, I wanted to pay you. Mm, just forget about that jerk. Look at this. What have you been doing? Investigating. I went to see Angie Toluca. She used to date Cindy too in college. Now, Adrian, you're not going to believe this. There was another mugging 20 years ago. It was the exact same thing, except Cindy Teal was the guy being mugged. What? Now, get this. The mugger from 20 years ago said, don't be a hero. Really? That's interesting. See? I knew it was interesting. I mean, I didn't know why, but I knew. <sighs> I know that look. You got it, right? <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yes. You hesitated. Why'd you hesitate? I was thinking about something else. Let's go. Mr. Modine! Yeah. Thank you for coming. What the hell is going on, Captain? Mr. Monk wants a few moments of everybody's time. I think that's not too much for him. Captain Sonomar, he leads on the Brady Cup. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's living in Mexico. Hey, 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 hey. You want to ambush people? You join the army, okay? The captain's trying to work here, people. He doesn't have time for your crap. Now step back, please. Step back. Hey, Officer Murata. Hey, thank you, sir. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. I wish I'd known you were coming. I could have had Mrs. Danvers prepare something. This isn't a party, Mrs. Teal. Well, I guess you can't believe everything you read. Newspapers said the investigation was closed. Theirs was, ours wasn't. My attorney says that I can file a harassment case whenever I feel like it. Mrs. Teal, your lawyers are gonna have enough to do to keep you off of death row. You'll be needing an attorney too, sir, for the murder of Sidney Teal and the attempted murder of me. The drive-by shooting, both of them? They were in it together, Captain. I'll tell you what troubled me from the very beginning, the knee pads and the elbow pads. When your husband left that night, he wasn't planning to mug anyone. And he wasn't planning to kill anyone. He was just going out to have a little fun, maybe roll around on the ground. He thought he was going to help you impress your date, Mr. Modine. It's ridiculous. Is it? You did it before, 20 years ago. He wrote about it in his book. Back in college, Sidney had a big date with Angie DeLuca. He wasn't much of a ladies' man, and he was trying to impress her. So the two of you cooked up a plan? Yep, you cooked up a plan. Would you like to tell it? No, 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 you, you, you're, you're better at telling it. Yeah, but go ahead, you can, you can tell it. No, you tell it. I'll tell it next For time. For God's sake, somebody tell it. It was a harmless little prank. You pretended to mug Sidney Teal at his date, and for a minute, the mild-mannered computer geek got to look like Superman. And I'm sure you both had a big laugh about it later on. You are a nutcase. No one's gonna believe him. On occasion, I've been known to believe him. Don't stop now. Where was I? 20 years later, Sidney brought Mira to his college fundraiser, and that's where you two met. And you met again and again and again. Are you sure you don't want to tell it? No, 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 you're doing great. Just, just go. A year goes by. You decide that life would be perfect without Sidney Teal around. So you two had your plan. 
You contacted Sidney, and you reminded him about the time that you helped him impress his date. And you asked him if he wouldn't like to return the favor. You knew he wouldn't say no. It was a chance for him to relive one of the best nights of his life. And it worked like a charm. To the rest of the world, it appeared that an eccentric billionaire had a nervous breakdown. And if worse came to worse and anyone connected you with Sidney Teal, you just had to admit that you'd had an affair and claim that the shooting was self-defense. That is one hell of a story, Mr. Monk. If you could prove it. He always went the extra mile. That night, your pal, Sidney, had a little surprise of his own. Really? Yes, sir. You see, he'd hired an actor to pose as a cop. So after you scared off the mugger, the cop was going to run up and commend you for your heroism. Oh my God. Afraid he called. I'm afraid so. You see, Captain, I, I remembered what you'd said, that no cop in your department would ever run from the scene of a crime. And it occurred to me, maybe Freddy Cop wasn't a real cop. I checked all the local costume shops. There was only one cop uniform rented that night. Hey, what are you doing? Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Joseph Murata. Very promising young actor. You? Joe wanted me to mention that he can be seen in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof at the Harris Webley Dinner Theater all next week. You know, when, when I heard the shots, I guess I kind of panicked. I'm sorry if I caused you guys any problems. Problems? Kid, you have no idea. I swear, I didn't know anything about this. This is all his idea. Why, bitch? <laughs> Give me the order. Modine, you're under arrest for the murder of Sidney Teal. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say can be used against you in a court of It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.